Stanford University. All right, so you've recently um, uh, transitioned to emeritus status, um, but you still seem pretty busy to me. Can you tell me a little bit about what uh, you've been doing and what your plans are? Well, I feel I am easing into uh, retirement status, uh, and I think I'm happier that way. Uh, you know, most people, given the uh, demography that, of our times, are still uh, active and capable. Uh, but nonetheless, there are good reasons to retire at uh, around age 70 or shortly thereafter, which is what I have done. But uh, so far, my life hasn't changed too much. Uh, first thing up was uh, being retired liberated me to accept a teaching offer from Yale University. So I went back and taught a course in the spring semester just passed, and that was a very nice opportunity to uh, renew our acquaintance with New Haven uh, after 50 years. Uh, and now we're back and we've recently finished the 29th meeting of the annual Summer Institute for High School Economics Teachers. So that was kind of life as usual and I'll be doing it again next year. And in fact, I've already signed up to teach a couple of courses during the academic coming uh, academic year. Uh, I would say my research, the pace of my research is not as intense as it was before, but I still have interests uh, and questions, uh, so I'm trying to keep up uh, as well I can, mostly on the uh, civil rights topic in relation to uh, what has become of the civil rights revolution and what has become of the South in that it has changed so drastically in political economic terms uh, in the last couple of decades. So I have plenty to work on and uh, I'm hoping to enjoy the best parts of <laughs> retired life, that is having a little more uh, flexibility and a uh, chance to work at my own pace, but uh, opportunity to continue working on one thing uh, or another. All right. Well, I think we'll call it a day then, and thank you very much for participating in our project. I thank you. It's been a pleasure. Your questions have been superb. Thank you. <laughs>